intruder alert, intruder alert. So it's that time of the year again for another Explanations Interactive Devlog for our Parables of the Remnant Issue 4 inspired Christian Top Down Shooter game. I don't know if I should keep adding Christian Top Down Shooter because it is a Christian comic but some people get the wrong connotation when I say Christian Top Down Shooter. But yeah, our Parables of the Remnant 4 inspired game which I am coining as Robotron Fortress. And just want to put out there if I don't for the regulars because usually like 75% of our watch time is from the regular people who listen. I came down with um to put it simply I have Freiburg's disease which is an issue with the bones in the metatarsals of the foot. And I am on medication, went to the doctor, got injections and whatnot. And I am on medication, a lot of medication for it and it does have one or two kind of side effects so most likely for the next couple of weeks i did say in one of the podcast installments that i am going to take it a bit slow this month for december and we will be firing on all cylinders in january but there might not be much content for the rest of the year maybe one video going forward for the um rest of december so just want to say that and happy holidays so if you hear me sounding a bit drab and different, might do live streams either of devlog live streams. But yeah, I just want to put that out there for this video. So anyway, yeah, let's continue. So in the game, we are following the storyline of Parables of the Remnant issue four, where we play, where you will be playing as the mercenary husband and wife duo of the Remnant squad, Flameshot and Pink Speed. As they set out to dismantle the United Nations endorsed AI Robotron's secret island fortress. You'll have the ability to seamlessly switch between Haley and Alex using the scroll wheel or the tab button. I find from developing it, pressing the tab button is the most comfortable for me for switching between the two. And you'll confront relentless waves of Robotron forces in a gradually increasing challenge. Your ultimate objective is to take down the fortress's sinister reactor, echoing the comic's narrative. Throughout it, I did take some the locations, the well, map that you're going to be playing on, is inspired by the background from the comics ranging from like the beach they land on to the dense jungle to ultimately reaching the heart of Robotron Stronghold. It would be a 20 to 30 minute game experience and you'll be immersing yourself in an action and strategy Fell game that remains faithful to the comic storyline on your quest to take down Robotron's forces. So we've been doing dev live streams every Sunday 7 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time for the past seven weeks. Well, I skipped one week because I went to with family. So yeah, seven weeks. Yeah, last seven weeks, last eight weeks, seven live streams. And after 29 active hours of development of the game, I am releasing bill 0.02 let me know what you guys think of the trailer i really really like that trailer how it came on that's like the style i'm gonna do for my comic book adaptation games going forward because like we covered 37 christian comic books this year but 38 and reviewed we have a podcast episode for that link will be in the top right hand corner of your screen if you have not checked that out 
that I want to sell like turning the comics that we cover into like small scale video games. My ultimate goal, which crazy testimony eventually talking about it, like testimony that includes your boy is recording this on a 4090 computer for you guys. Like it's a crazy testimony, but we will leave that for that testimony podcast installment. But my goal, not just with, well, with explanations on a whole and the Kudoshim initiative is to bring forth gospel infused entertainment. It is a word, I don't know if Edwin David has it trademarked, but yeah, gospel infused entertainment to help bolster that phase, that space, not just with my projects, but like other people's projects, like Bible X, the comics I cover, um, in, with shows, virtual production, whatever way I can, I believe that is where God is calling me into within the entertainment space and with you guys on the channel and with your support i'm glad to have you guys along on this journey so bill 0.2 is up over on the website link for that is www.theexplanations.com forward slash christian fiction forward slash robotron fortress don't worry link for it will be in the description below but in this build, it features upgrades to the core gameplay framework of, well, the core gameplay framework, including gunplay, character switching functionality, and the wave spawn system. I implemented a responsive on-screen UI where it would showcase which character you are in control of, along with a flame shot power mechanic. This is a unique system I implemented intentionally to give the player reason to switch between the characters. Because Flame Shot is really broken in the game and just even in the remnant from the, the comics he has been in, he has that he is like flames, like just burns things down and is a really good swordsman. So I'm putting and Kaylee mainly was the star of the comic. She did a lot of the work. Flame Shot got shot. He had they had he he had to sit down in a cave for a while and she went forth and just like finished the job while he was praying for her like lord please protect my wife as she heads into danger that is one of my favorite lines from that comic like from the remnant on a whole as well so what i implemented is you won't be able to like always fire with flame shot or you won't be able to fire with him all the time you would mainly be using kaylee for every robot to take down with kaylee it will recharge flame shots power meter so i kind of want to do a tempo between switching the two characters of uh, you run out of flame power with Alex and then you switch to Kaylee to charge it up quickly and then you run out of flame power again and you keep switching back between the two. The AI is quite dumb. There is no code really on the AI other than run towards this other than make sure you are in 400 meters. Well, not meters. It can't be meters. 400 Unreal Engine units away from the character. Which I think 100 it translates to centimeters. So probably four meters away from the character so that is the only code on the ai right now but i would eventually upgrade it to where the ai your companion ai whether kaylee or flameshot will be firing back at them and they will we will also have character models in the likeness of the characters eventually it's not in there now but eventually that is the goal so with this build of 0.02 it is available for pc only the game most likely will be available for pc only on our website and in it we have as you saw in the trailer yes big trailer very proud of that trailer <laughs> uh custom build environment fully functioning ui improved enemy horde mode system before they used to like fall through the other like, say that in the box that you might come across and i added the dynamic ping speed and flame shot meter mechanic Jeez. yeah we're going with that let's read enough the script right now so also we created some bugs and there are one or two bugs that i want to point out if you come across you let me know i think i fixed it in my seven tests before packaging the game and putting it in it as a folder and putting it onto the website i did not come across it but i know it still might be there so the robotron centuries ai need a framework update they are dumb <laughs> like as i said there is not much code into them other than find player and ensure that you are always like five meter radius not five meter five unreal engine units radius away from it which i believe is five centimeters away from the player make sure you're always in that radius close to the young player then some of the Robotron sentries would randomly decide to join the space program and take off into the air 
at 300 kilometers a second like they just go flying really quickly it's like it's, it's a bug with the 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 part of the code that registers where their locations is if too much of them are like bouncing into each other it causes a collision issue where it just goes flying and like a weird collision issues that i have to fix i put a band-aid fix at the moment for it using an invisible barrier located be above the player character while which once it is crossed the um butts and even the player will teleport back down to the ground if you try to scale the mountain where the satellites are in zone two you will also be teleported because it just teleports them back to one of the five spawn points in that location Another issue, some Robotron sentries fall below the ground and can cause the wave system to bug out. If this happens to you, I just say restart it. Just go to main menu and restart it. But I have put a bug fix in there for my, um, well, band-aid fix for in there at the moment. Where we, that's why you would see that they start above the ground. Because I was frustrated trying to fix it and it wasn't working. So I decided to put them above the ground. And my intention is in the comic, whenever the waves came down, they spawned in the air and touched down to the ground. So I'm going to be doing that. Just try to get like um, an animation where every time they spawn, they like hit the ground and do a kind of um, particle effect on the ground. As we see in the comic, I'll have the picture of it up on the screen for you. So put that band-aid fix in there and that is the only, that is your main two bugs they are in it right now. At least with this build. Going forward into next year, I will be continuing to develop and make like win conditions and stuff. The goal enemies are stronger. I would, I do want to put in place a kind of mechanic where certain enemies take more damage from Kaylee and certain enemies take more damage from flame shots. So some enemies will be like fire resistant and some enemies will be well, yeah, some enemies fire resistance. Sorry, I'm not really like too well right now, but when I get this um out. So yeah, some enemies will be fire resistance and fire resistant. Oh jeez. And some enemies won't be fire resistant. They would take more damage to Kaylee. And some would take more damage to Alex. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So yeah, if you run into any bugs once you have been able to complete the game there is a there will be a pop-up in the you win screen that allows you to go up and do any um that would allow you to submit a bug report or directly onto our website it would also be cool if you guys could like i don't know record the gameplay or something and do link it to me in our discord or in the over email or in the forum if you find a bug and you can send it over send the link in the um forum on the website itself that would be greatly appreciated so yeah i hope you enjoyed the game once again i just want to give a huge shout out to bear rob for allowing me to use his ip without any issues or fuss for all of my passion projects i have a lot of ideas to just transform the remnant stuff well the remnant characters and events into like small scale video games as i continue to pursue my ultimate goal of being a creative director for some video game not uh, like any game but like a really cool christian game i have a lot of <laughs> game ideas and stuff and one of my goals next year is to actually get a game up on steam one of my own passion projects and they up on steam and then far future goal is to eventually make a ultimate alliance style full-fledged video game for the remnant i think there needs to be more lore to come out from the universe to really do that but i mean think about the parables of the remnant with all the remnant characters in uh ultimate alliance style game that would be really cool so that is this is like the first stepping stone of that journey so thank you for joining along thank you for listening to this point if you want to check out the comic that this game is based on it is when we did our ranking all the comics that i've covered or my well ranking all the comics i've covered this year on a scale from 1 to 37 with ranking from 1 to 37 this comic was at the number 8 spot because i find it was a really cool read it's a 5 out of 5 according to our christian fiction judgment scale haven't used that in a long time it's a 5 out of 5 because i really really enjoyed it i mean this was a comic that really put me onto like a big super fan of evan david so yeah, 
thanks for watching to this point your boy would be taking it easy for the rest of the year do have one like end of podcast to do for the year that's that would most likely be the last video for the year so yeah <laughs> talk to me tender if you enjoyed it and have been liking the content be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe i have not said those words in a long time because i don't use it for the podcast because it's weird to say that on the podcast when it's going on both youtube and spotify so yeah i think i see error plenty i also slip in that if you want to check out any of our other games the passion project games that i have been working on under the explanations interactive banner you could check out our official fortnite creative page where you could go and check out our um fight the good fight game that i made back in july august as well as be sure to use code set apart in the item shop to continue to support our game development efforts also just finished recording and remembered i want to shout out some of the folks that have passed through during the seven hour live stream salt our mod who has been there pretty much i think 28 out of the 29 hours that we have been live streaming falcon hyperstabby mo elijah all of you guys who have passed through blade all of you guys who have passed through and uh, also in the discord i just want to say a huge shout out to you guys and thank you for supporting along and just being there for like the full five hours of the live streams that you guys have been there for some of them so yeah all right that's it for, <laughs> that's it now one more thing one more thing double shout out to salt because he is the voice that you hear saying intruder alert intruder alert he will be the voice of robotron for the game so just wanna give him that shout out as well okay that's it for sure so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and do have a blessed rest of your day, night, morning, whenever. <laughs> Just thanks for watching.